So it's nice to be back. Uh, we've got a lot of things that came out over the last couple of months uh, that we really haven't had a chance to talk about. Uh, so we want to get started on that and, and share it with you. Also, I hope everyone's had a great um, great couple of months. Everything's gone well for everyone and that everyone's well and happy. You getting hitched at him and we're not invited? Oh, posh. That's why we have offlines. <laughs> I'm hearing a dog and I thought it was my poodle. Well, we can get the ball rolling. We have quite a few topics to cover today. And the first one up. PBR, so physically based rendering or PBR materials launched. As everyone knows at the end of November and is now the standard in the official viewer and then testing on some of the third party viewers. So progress is being made there. It's good to hear. The addition of physically based rendering to Second Life puts us back to industry standards for materials, uh, depth, everything that enhances materials in Second Life and generally just makes everything beautiful. But in the meantime, we haven't gotten rid of the usual way to manage materials on your content, so all of your existing items would work as expected before. Just now that you have the added ability to um, create a little bit more depth and visualiz uh, visualization for your materials. So when you have a moment, you can go ahead and check out our blog post about the official PBR launch here. Now, you don't know what you're missing until you've added this layer, and it just brings everything into focus. Yeah, I agree. I was really surprised when I got here uh, today and saw the uh, the floor underneath my feet, and some of the chairs are also uh, picking up a lot of reflections from uh, from above. Really quite visually pretty and interesting. Um, We've got another uh, another big one that was announced, uh, which of course is the mobile viewer. Um, we start to take the wrapping off of it. We have an alpha release that's available currently for our approved Premium Plus members. Um, if you are Premium Plus and you want to check it out, see what it is, um, you can do so at Thatterall. Um and yeah, uh, Adam, uh, I know that a lot of folks who aren't Premium Plus want to check it out. And yeah, we will we will be opening it up to everyone. Right now, it's just a limited test. Um, it won't be forever limited. Um, there's still a lot of work being done on it, uh, including making sure that we can support everyone that wants to use it. Um, so it'll eventually get to everyone. Um, and hopefully, it'll be to Premium soon, uh, so you'll be able to play with it. Um, you will, of course, also find more information on the mobile viewer at that Earl, or that Earl, excuse me. Um, yes, it's a good time to update as well. Um, and it's actually really, it's really interesting to, you know, just speaking kind of as someone who's been in Second Life for many, many years before I became a Linden, it's actually pretty exciting. Um, 
to you know see your avatar standing in world um, from your phone or from you know other mobile devices because it's not it's not something that I ever necessarily you know, I kind of given up on the expectation of ever, of ever seeing it so it's really kind of cool you know. Ask away. We are always kind of looking at the way the roads work and so forth. A lot of them probably aren't going to be changed, um, but never say never. You know, there are some places that will probably end up tweaking over time. Hey, Kai, I can answer your question. Um, we haven't had any feedback yet on how PBR and mobile will uh, intermingle. Uh, right now, mobile is still very much in a testing phase, uh, but I'm sure if not now, then down the road, you know, that will definitely be looked at. Um, that would have to be looked at as far as if you're thinking about uploading assets via mobile. Um, that might be a little tricky, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's on the initial roadmap as far as release, uh, one of the priorities, but it's definitely one of those things that it's going to come up. Hello, can you guys hear me? How is my voice? It's good enough. Loud clear. Okay. Perfect. So I've been so I don't know if you're allowed to say other programs or but there is a specific um, am, I, am I allowed to talk about other programs? Because I got this idea from there and I was really Oh sure. I mean any question, so, you know, whether or not we're we're able to answer though. <laughs> yeah. So like, everyone I guess knows TikTok and as a TikTok I used to like donate to uh, streamers and blah 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 and whenever you donate the more the more you level up and then you have some sort of uh, banner so whenever you go inside someone's stream you get this banner that says hey this person just joined and it kind of makes you look flashy with grand interest so I was thinking you know, I would love to have something like for premium or premium plus so that let's say the more person let's say throughout the years the more you buy premium the more you kind of level up or you have some kind of banner that changed the way uh, you look or the color of your name tag. Or that would be like, I would love to see something like that. I was going to do something like that with scripts, but people are not going to look into that. That's a great question. And it also uh, allows me to uh, introduce our, um, let's see how far along on the topic. I think we can just do that just one. Just go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, that leads right into our feature request um, spiel, where that's a great idea. We have a team that, uh, if you've been at the uh, user groups before, we mentioned it quite a lot. We have a team that reviews new ideas and enhancements. Um, that would definitely be up the rally as far as our review, if you're able to submit it. Um, now, we, right now we are, it's one of the topics for today, we are in the midst of a migration from JIRA to a new system. Um, so let me go ahead and drop this link in chat for everybody because this is where you're going to go now. So we have feedback.secondlife.com. Um, this is where you're going to submit bugs where you find it in world as well as new ideas or aka feature requests as you mentioned uh, Mr. Spicy. Um, so we can go ahead and jump to this topic because we're already talking about it. Um, so we are migrating from JIRA, uh, our longtime bug tracking system, uh, to a new system um, beginning a uh, little bit on or be after February. Um, we have a blog post here that you can read about, and we might have another one incoming. So this talks about um, we're moving from JIRA to a new system. Um, we've already set up a platform 
where residents are actively submitting uh, new bug reports and feature requests. And all you have to do is just go ahead and bookmark feedback.secondlife.com. You'll see all of the options once you open the page to uh, submit what kind of uh, issues you have. Um, this was introduced when we began the mobile alpha. Um, residents who are part of the testing program uh, use this platform to submit the bugs. And since then, we've expanded it to cover everything because we are migrating over. So uh, any questions? Uh, regarding this, um, we do have a, uh, a redirect. I'll go ahead and find the link and put in later. But yeah, this will be the place that from now on uh, we're going to reference for uh, bug reports and uh, new feature requests and any other kind of uh, uh, recommendations you want to send forth. One thing I was also going to add to uh, what you were recommending, uh, Mr. Spicy, is that um, actually in the user profiles right now you will see you know, if someone's, you know, premium plus plus uh, lifetime accounts, this kind of thing. Um, but maybe that could be uh, could be bubbled up a little bit more. So please, by all means, um, feedback.secondlife.com and put your idea in. I like it. Yes, that was my thought, too. It was extremely well intuitive, very easy to digest and uh, begin using. Yeah, I agree completely, Sint. And I think that um, I think the new system, you know, like was already said, it's a little bit easier to um, to browse. It's a little bit easier to find stuff. Uh, maybe that'll change when we get more things in there. But um, I think it's really uh, it's really a nice system compared to what we were working with. I think Firestorm might still be using Jira. I don't know if they have any plans to change. But they've always maintained their own separate bug reporting system. So moving on, uh, we're going to talk about our new starting avatars, Blake and Jimmy, um, Blake and Jimmy, uh, part of the Semra initiative. Um, if you have created any characters, you might have seen them uh, pop up. Uh, they are beautiful to look at, including the outfits. Um, right now, they are in your inventory, and uh, we do have more avatars like this planned in the future. And we talk about the Senra initiative right here. Like so, yes, I think the uh, team is aware of those issues. They do sound familiar, and they were uh, taken into consideration. I'm going to talk about uh, kind of one of my favorite topics lately. Um, anyone, I think, who's had a uh, Linden home assigned to them in the last couple of weeks has gotten a visit from me. Uh, but I um, want to talk about Linden homes. Um, we did, um, just before the holidays, um, 
uh, release our our most recent offering, uh, which are the Mediterranean Linden Homes. Uh, they're our second 2048 uh, Linden Home offering. Uh, they're primarily aimed at Premium Plus, obviously. Um, they've proven to be quite popular. Uh, we've already done a couple of expansions on them. Um, and also we've put out a few more ranch linden homes. Um, and you can find out more about these and other linden home offerings, um, either in the belly demo region, um, which will allow you to look at all the homes and also play with their controllers a bit, see what they're like. Um, or you can also check out the recently updated uh, linden home selector which is at that URL. Um, one of the nice things about the new um, selector as well is that you can um, check out uh, how many of a different type of home are available or if there's any available, um, which will save you a lot of trouble when you, you don't have to abandon your home in order to see if a home is available. You'll be able to see it right from there. I'm going to say the Mediterranean homes are just marvelous. Good grief. <laughs> yeah, I really, really love the look of them. They're probably my favorite of the themes. Um, the homes themselves are gorgeous. They've got, you know, built-in fireplaces, and they've got just lovely brickwork and stucco work. Uh, the landscaping is gorgeous. Some of the entryways into them are just really beautiful. I honestly didn't think anything would top the uh, Tahoe uh, style. Um, that seemed to be one of the most popular since traditional. Um, but Mediterranean is is really nice. Um, Adam, uh, to tackle your question, it would be the link right above feedback.secondlife.com um, if, if you want to uh, file a complaint. Um, I know we, we stack the benefits for Premium Plus. Uh, that's not to say that... Uh, the original premium or standard premium doesn't have its own benefits. It's almost a tiered approach. Um, we've also introduced a, a plus line. Um, so depending upon how much you're willing to invest in your experience in Second Life, there's going to be a, a greater benefit. Um, you can always stay a base resident and there's still benefits um, that we, you know, that as far as Second Life. Uh, so everything is purely optional. Um, but things like Linden Homes have always been uh, a premium benefit. Um, the ability to manually choose a Linden Home in World um, became a premium plus benefit. Um, however, you, know, you can always use the selection tool. Um, the Mediterranean Homes, the Tahoe Homes, all of those, when available, um, will be um, you know seen in the selection tool but due to demand um, you know sometimes you don't see those styles uh, as often as you want to um, that's why premium plus residents will you know they know the communities where these homes are being built um, they'll find one that looks eligible they'll submit a ticket and the mainland team uh, does their due diligence to make sure that home is uh, available for assignment um, so it, it's really a tiered approach. You're, you're not required to, but um, if you want to enhance your experience, you know, we, there's the options. No, not at all. I, w I wouldn't say subpar. That is, yeah, that's not even close. <laughs> Dev, so yeah, um, on top of what Wendy said, um, you can't upgrade to the Lifetime Premium Plus. You can upgrade to a regular Premium Plus. However, um, you know, you would lose the Lifetime um, 
designation. Um, however, um, if at any point down the line uh, you're playing with premium plus, you know, saying, you know, I kind of just want to go back to my lifetime premium, uh, at that point you would submit a support ticket to support. So um, there's not much wiggle room with lifetime premium, but, uh, you know, reach out to us if you have any questions or you're thinking of making a change. Yeah, lifetime premium plus slots filled up in like two minutes. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next topic, uh, we're going to touch on a little bit of a 2023 in a year in review. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of details available for the upcoming projects for 2024. Um, we definitely want you to take a look at um, everything our team has put together here for our year in review and uh, what to expect in 2024 so far. I do particularly like the uh, what's hot at the end, the uh, the ranking list. I was surprised, houseboats, number one linen home thing. They do remain very popular. I'm wondering, is that because Tahoe just wasn't around the whole year to get on the list? Yeah, indeed, gorgeous. I mean, th those are fairly new, and we actually have had a lot of houseboats for some time, so I'm sure that that bounces out a bit, but the houseboats do remain really darn popular. And yeah, the Tahoes were the uh, one of the old themes. Lethra, by all means, check them out uh, on the belly demo region. Um, probably also find you uh, one of the full regions here so that you can uh, explore uh, the whole neighborhood and see what it looks like.
And yes, Fix, I, I looking over the, the highlights and so forth. I'm actually really enjoying what we're seeing of the new Welcome Hub. Um, I know we've got some new work going on there um, as well. Um, but really beautiful build. Kind of reminds me a bit of uh, um, SL20B um, overall. Very science, science uh, fiction-y look to it. It feels like we just finished SL20B, and SL21 is just right around the corner. It's crazy. But if there aren't a few drinking games at SL21B, we're, we're missing the point. <laughs> Indeed. And there, there, for, there, there may actually be SL21B work being done, but I'm not going to talk about it. Um, oh, Wendy just did. Confirmed. <laughs> yeah. But... Um, uh, with, of course, uh, you know, everything going on, uh, we have to take a look at uh, the uh, supported operating systems uh, that can run Second Life, uh, you know, with PBR and other things coming in. Uh, so we are saying goodbye to uh, Mac OS versions prior to 11. So, you know, it's going to be anything of the OS X, OS 10 era. Um, if you're still running a pre-11 version of Mac OS, uh, you will actually still be able to log in with version 6.6.12 of Second Life. We will keep that available on our op on our alternate viewer page for some time um, so that you can get in. But um, it will become less functional um, over time, and it won't be supported. So we will recommend upgrading uh, if you can uh, to more modern uh, Sonoma, etc. Um, you'll find more about this at that Earl. Um, right, exactly, Bunny, and that's why we do have uh, 6.6.12 available, and we'll keep that available for as long as we can. Um, but do expect some functionality downgrade. Um, as we continue to move on, you might see some issues. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to upgrade at some point. Um, if you can't run the, the latest, greatest, or even um, at this point, I believe that goes back um, three or four versions of the Mac OS. So there's some that you can get up to. Um, I hope you can. Uh, I got a quick question. Uh, I see on that 2024 roadmap, uh, there's something called... Um, Club Desire, and it looks like it's an officially sponsored adult region by Lynn Labs. Can you guys talk about that a little bit? Um, I'll take that. Uh, there's not a lot um, that we can say about that at this time other than the teaser you're seeing on that page. Um, there's some initiatives that are going on, and maybe that's one of them, um, but I really couldn't say. Um there will be more discussed on this very soon. You guys have to be a little nervous about doing that, but uh, yeah, so there's nothing you guys can say about what that is? My lips are zipped. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds better than when it's typed out. I suppose upon along similar lines, I should probably mention that uh, the Valentine's Shop and Hop has been announced. Um, it'll be held from the 1st to the 19th of February. There will be a lot of free items like we usually do with the Shops and Hops. And uh, we're also really kind of pushing uh, some of the folks that are there, if they can, to uh, include content for the Cinera body. Um, so, you know, there is that coming up, and Valentine's is a uh, somewhat romantic holiday, so who knows? Who's to say?
Am I not good enough, gorgeous? I actually did. I, I was I was at the at the hug, but I was also at the. I, I rather enjoyed doing the train ride. I do hope we'll be able to do that again this year. I haven't done the hug yet. I'm going to do the hug this year. I'm coming ready to hug. <laughs> Ask away, Mister. Is Linden's? You know, if Dang. we if we don't have an answer, we will <laughs> let you know. And if we do, we will. I like gen gently owned Linden Linden's. So, <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Obviously, like, everyone knows that oh, Second Love is massive, massive, massive. That's like the biggest. Like, if you just look at the daily concurrent users, it's like 30,000. So, for me, as a guy who's like from Middle East, and I want to apply, it, let's say, at careers at Second Love, at Linden Lab, so it has these requirements and stuff. But then, let's say I've been working for at least. Uh, I've been actually working as a programmer for like a decade and a half or something like that. So as a Middle Eastern or a guy from the Middle East, we have some form of ways of like, uh, let's say my resume or something that, show, that shows my proof of work. Even though I have this experience with the jobs that you guys have opened for, but it's kind of hard to show them because first of all, like they have like these people Arabic here, and it's kind of hard to translate that to to US. So I was like hoping if there's like um, a channel that I can like, I can talk to people like if I can, I don't want to say have an interview, but show that if I can somewhat apply, like, you know what I mean? Because it's like, you have the cultural barriers and then um, the way resumes are made, like we don't even have um, even though our banks are kind of different, if I'm trying to send a check to someone in the United States, it's really difficult because we don't have account numbers. You know what I mean? It's like different uh, tradition, culture, kind of country. Hmm. What I might recommend, given your background, um, as far as talking to someone, uh, perhaps um, try the uh, server user group. Um, at least start talking with them there. They may have some... Uh, some help for you on that because that's going to be more um, the work that they're doing um, rather than the work that Fix or I are doing. Um, so that might be a good place to uh, to talk to them about. That's on Tuesdays um, in the Denby region. Um, I'll find you some more information on that. Is that a group I can join? Because I don't know what that is. It's literally my, like it's my first time. Oh, coming it's here. a user group just like this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. the The link that Vix just put in has uh, all the different user groups, including this one, and it would be the server user group that's held in Dinby on Tuesdays. Um, at the very least, they will, you know, have a much closer uh, view on that, given your skill set. You're certainly welcome. Excellent, Bunny. For what it's worth, um, you know, that's the same place that I got hired through was through lindenlab.com slash careers. So it really does happen. So I'm sorry, I don't like to ask too much because I don't want to bother people. But which group should I ask? Because a lot of them doesn't show something related to well, I don't well know. um it's the user group, but it's more like town hall meeting like we do here. So you would uh, visit the uh, meeting 
Um, and then when oh. they open the floor to questions, then you would pose the question there. So yeah, sorry, not like a literal group, more of a, a gathering like here, like oh, any so you know, anyone that had region or performance questions, you would come here if you had a burning question. We'd do our best answer. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a group similar to this, and but they're they're going to be much more involved with uh, your skill set as far as your your background, uh, and they'll probably have a better handle on that for you than we will. I'm kind of just gonna add just quickly to it. It's just like I have the skills, but it's kind of hard to translate them into something that people like, oh, like a, re a Western style um, resume. So if you know what I mean, that's what the issue was. Even if I have yeah, to understood. Experience. Yeah. Thank you. So, sure. what you're suggesting is to come just the next meeting because I thought like I should join a group. No, uh, to go to, to to go to the user group in Dinby because um, that's where a lot of the uh, our our devs will attend that, and they probably will have a better handle on that, given your skill set. Okay, okay, my bad. Because I thought you wanted me to join the second life group. No, no, it's it's a user group like this. This this meeting is a user group, so same sort of thing. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Sure thing. Happy to help. Over had a, a nice uh, suggestion there for you, uh, Spicy. Although we can't officially recommend any third-party applications, um, we do have a presence. Linden Lab does have a presence on LinkedIn as well. Sounds kind of weird. I mean, we can't recommend, but we're, we're there. <laughs> I thought, like, I played Second Life, so I might just apply for it, you know? Oh, Darko, it has to do with, uh, like, sharing the links. If it's not from our domain, yeah, we, we can't share it unless because that might be, like, a you know, yeah, we virus. Yeah, we can say it, but we, yeah. We can say it, but, yeah, I can't send you it. Do we have any other questions or uh, issues uh, for us to discuss? Go for it, uh, Tua. Hope I pronounce that right. Tua, you have the floor. <laughs> oh, sorry, I missed that one from from earlier. I'll find I'm that not for you sure. Guys. Yeah. Plan to redirect the roads and rails to avoid the uh, double sim corners. If we don't have an answer here, I'm not sure if Wendy has an answer. That would yeah, be I a think good I actually replied. To... Oh, did I you? think I actually oh. replied to that earlier a bit. Um, there's there's up. no there's no immediate plans for that, uh, but we do always look at. You know what's working, what's not. Um, so never say never, but I really can't say that. You know we're going to make huge changes on that right now. Oh, Gus, I, I think Wendy answered you, but this is our place for all of our downloads for the viewers. This will give you a list of uh, simulator release viewers dating back to November. Um, current ones will be right under it. The most current one will be the default or the public viewer. And then you are welcome to play around with the testing viewers, such as Emoji, the PBR maintenance, 2.0, main W, main X, main Y. You click through each of those viewers, you will see uh, bugs that are still in the QA slash testing phase uh, that haven't been promoted to default release yet. So um, if you want to be, you know, one of the first to uh, test out a, a new feature enhancement or or bug fix, that's where you're going to want to go.
those, um, I really can't speak to governance, but I believe you can go ahead and abuse report those. At the very least, they can review it. Uh, like so, no plans right now for a governance group. However, we usually do have a represent. Oh, governance for. We usually have a uh, representative from governance here to uh, help answer a few of those questions. <laughs> well, glad you're here regardless. Uh, has there been any progress on dealing with uh, the voice hacking that's been going on lately? Yeah, regrettably, we're not able to touch on many governance topics here because this, this is a land and uh, and support group. Um, yeah, fortunately, we don't have a forum anymore to address governance issues. We really won't be able to uh, dedicate much time to them. Yes, Dark Over. Any and all requests um, that were once being funneled to Jira are now going through Kenny. Go for it, Lexa. We do have uh, one more topic also that we want to squeeze in before our time is up. It does. <laughs> it's always a sprint to the end. <laughs> no worries, Mr. Spicy. Um, I think we're waiting on Lexa. Uh, yeah, yep, there it is.
Darkover, do you mean the um, the hacking report or a separate voice issue? Okay, that would go uh, through an abuse report in World if you haven't uh, submitted one already. Uh, Gus, regarding your question on older viewers, how old do you want to go? Because it looks like um, the oldest one I'm able to find is a November 9th one. Viewer release ending in 7783. These are the, that list I, I put uh, earlier, those are the ones that we're currently supporting. Uh, older viewers are, are not going to uh, stand up to the changes that we've made. Yeah, I'm going to check to see where uh, where they have 6612 located for you, Gus. Absolutely. You can ch lower the volume on uh, any avatar, and to do so, just hover your mouse uh, over them. Usually uh, it goes faster if you put it towards the head, I've noticed, um, and their name will pop up. If you left-click that, it's going to give you a little window with their profile, and there's going to be a radial slider, and you can move that up and down as you wish. Yeah, I wish I had more information for you on that dark offer. We have just uh, about uh, eight minutes or so left today. Uh, any other uh, uh, questions that people want to bring up? Oh, go ahead, Spicy. I think you had another question, right? Yeah, so I heard, like, I came to this. This is my first time ever after 10 years to come into, like, Lon London's come. attendance. So is there, like, any group that I can join so I can know when is the next announcement for the next attendance or anything official regarding Second Life or London Labs gatherings, like, in World or something? Yes, I recommend uh, Monsieur Land. That's a group primarily uh, for this one. And when we're done, we'll make sure we get you uh, an invite. Oh, 
So I just look at the calendar or the group? Uh, yeah, you can bookmark. I put the link in chat. You can bookmark that uh, unless otherwise noted. Uh, we will be here the fourth Wednesday of every month. Uh, unless it lands on like a holiday in which, you know, uh, the staff is away, uh, we'll send notice um, beforehand as well. Um, otherwise, I, we are right here, same bat time, same bat channel, every fourth Wednesday Thank at noon. Thank you, Mark. Absolutely. Yeah, somehow, for some reason, I didn't see your text. That's weird. Uh, Wendy invited me in, Christina sent me. Thank you, guys. Oh, excellent. So I have one topic to uh, get in before we call it quits here, and it's the new last names. Let me go ahead and drop the link here. So released January 5th, we have a list of awesome names. I'm just going to spam chat. You guys need to deal with it. <laughs> I must say this is probably one of the most unique uh, assortment of new last names that we've put out, and quite a few, to be honest. Oh, sorry, I just remembered this, and I'm sorry, like, you guys on short time. Um, oh, no worries. So... I noticed that when I started making the spicy name, I noticed that there are mm -hmm. specific type of people who like grab the names and squat them, like empty profiles, and then they just grab something, something spicy, or something, something spicy, and then it's just a dead account. So is there anything regarding like people who just squat usernames and just leave them for decades and not use them? No, um, if they were qualified and purchased the name and their account, then yeah. Yeah, they are welcome to uh, keep the name. We don't require any kind of you know regular activity to maintain the name. So once you pick it up, it's yours. And there's an added benefit that let's say another new name comes around, and you're like, man, I really like that new name. Um, we have a reservation, so your current name then becomes reserved to only you. So that gives you the opportunity to go try a new name. Um, there's a service fee per uh, name change. Um, so you go and change a new name. That's a new service fee. If you uh, want to revert back to you know your previous name, that's a service fee. But we do reserve those for accounts. So nobody is going to be able to take Mr. Spicy, for example, if you choose to go with another unique name. OK, I'm sorry to be kind of annoying. But how long does it stay if I, let's say I had previously, I, had a, I have uh, the last, this username it says very spicy. How long does it stay in my account, let's say, if I'm Mr. Spicy right now and I want to revert back to something that I had years ago? Is there... Uh, I would say indefinitely. No, there's no time limit. As far as, far as older names have you used, um, no time limit on that. It, it sits in, in the system. It's yours. Um, as I mentioned, uh, you'll put in a... Uh, you can do it through the dashboard, and you'll see that there's a service fee assigned uh, that you'll have to pay. Uh, but, yeah, and no timetable or kind of... Uh, yeah. Yeah, end time. It, that's yours, definitely. As long as we're here, we're <laughs> breathing. Yeah. See you next month, Mother. Um, as many names as, as you've paid for Dark Over um, and you've changed from, those names uh, remain indefinitely reserved to you. So you got, I guess you can build up a collection of previously used names. <laughs> Thank you. 
not a bad recommendation, Key. But I think, yeah, maybe those who are base or plus that now have the ability to buy a name, because uh, if you've noticed, we've expanded the name change service to basically all levels, uh, even if you're a base there. Yeah, it's a higher fee. Um, but as you can see, the you know the more that you invest in the, the the enhancement of Second Life, the cheaper the name change service becomes. But yeah, um, with the inclusion of basic, um, yeah, that might be something that they revolt against. <laughs> Any last questions or comments uh, before we uh, have to say goodbye today? I think we touched on everything, Wendy. Indeed we did. Until next month. Um, I think that might have been touched on before, Lexo, with bots showing up in regions and even after restarting. Um, if you're having an issue with botting, I would recommend the abuse report. We really, it's not a topic that we can really deep dive into here uh, unless you want to talk about like performance and improving performance. But yeah, the, if it's specifically botting and um, their presence, yeah, I would uh, file an abuse report. Thank you, everyone. That is our time, and we'll see you next month. Thank you. Take care, all. We'll see you next time.